You are a strong and independent person with goals and dreams, but you still need to take care of yourself. According to Greatest, putting me time on the back burner is a big part of why we can all feel run down, frenzied, and overwhelmed. As much as we work very hard, we also need rest. The best way is to have a work-life balance and effective work strategies that don't put you under too much stress. Often ignored but necessary, self-care is any action or behavior that helps a person avoid health problems. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 13 steps to healthcare tips for a better you. If you're new here, kindly subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. Have an action plan According to National Care Center for Biotechnology and Information, a 2019 study, for example, found that student nurses may neglect their own health and wellness needs while training to look for others, and this might in turn reduce their effectiveness when providing care. Don't start out working and hope to make time for self-care. It won't work. It would help if you prioritized it as much as you prioritize your work. If you feel so overwhelmed, talk to the Human Resource Department or get some help. These things can actually interfere with your effectiveness at work. I know you don't want to look like you're shying away from work, and in reality, you're only trying to get better. Take every break, get enough sleep and continue. Don't work to ease your pain if you're passing through stuff. Talk to people, talk to your friends, go out, live. Your life doesn't revolve around your job. 2. Leave your house Don't stay zoned inside your house forever. With the COVID-19 pandemic, it is understandable that a lot of people would prefer to stay indoors, but then moving out can help you relieve stress and get some fresh air. Ditching the comfort of your home is a great way to improve mental and physical health. Some research has shown that even a picture of nature can spark positive activities in the brain. This may explain why very busy executives don't take vacations in New York. They go to more typical areas that have beautiful natural scenery. Going out might also mean you will meet some people. But hey, what's wrong with saying hello to some strangers and discussing anything other than work? You have to be conscious of it though, or else you will never do it. Make up your mind to go out at least every weekend. Put in the monthly budget that will help keep you committed. You can invite a friend or go alone. 3. Do some outdoor exercises According to Greatest, research shows that working out in a great outdoor boosts self-esteem more than indoor exercise, especially for people with mental health difficulties. When you start, you will probably not feel very comfortable, but you have to press on. You will gradually get used to it and even build community with the people there. Include it in your schedule. You can go for jogging by 5 a.m. every day or take a walk, whichever of them you prefer. Do you currently exercise? When was the last time? What kind of exercise do you do? Tell us in the comments below. 4. Breathe the right scents If you work in a hospital, you may be sick of the scent already. It always smells of disinfectant and whatnots. Thankfully, you can choose the scents you perceive by using essential oils. Naturally, just taking a deep breath can be a serious stress relief. If you are watching this video, take a deep breath right now. Are you feeling relieved already? Keep breathing. You will be alright. Finding your favorite aroma and having them on hand, whether it's through candles, infusers or bottles of essential oils, can help you create an environment that suits your snores and calms you down. You are responsible for your health. Don't procrastinate on this. 5. Be mindful What are the things that make you happy? Hold them close to you. What are the things that make you unhappy? Eschew them from your life. You need to take charge of your life and make hard choices. Some things just have to go. Is your job making you unhappy? It has to go. What will you do even if you had all the money in the world? Ask yourself deep questions and affirm that you are happy and fulfilled. Affirm every day that the things you want are locating you. Be of good cheer. Your happiness begins now. 7. Meditate daily If you are an early riser like me, you would appreciate the silence of the mornings. I spend this time meditating quietly. This makes me more in tune with my day and more aware of my surroundings. I highly recommend doing this even if it's just for 30 minutes. Look at the things that bother you. Do you think they really matter? Maybe they do, but not enough for you to sacrifice your happiness. It would help if you learned self-control. Control your thoughts or they might control you. There is so much information out there in the world. Control what you let in and you will always be at peace with yourself. 8. Read something fun I'm an avid reader, the type you would call bookworm. I have read so many books I've lost count. I enjoy reading fiction a lot. Although to learn business administration and financial management, you need to read more advanced books. They are not so fun. But for now, let's focus on fun reading. What was the last book you read? Why? Who was the author? What was the story about? You can tell me in the comments below. It's okay if you have not read yet. You can still read. It's not too late. 9. Declutter 
You will be amazed at what doing this can do for you. How many things do you have in your apartment that you haven't used in years? Without even knowing, you worry about them and they stay in your mind and space, making you unable to process thoughts faster. When you declutter, there is more ventilation and you don't think about clothes, books, shoes, gathering dust that you have meant to give away. If you haven't done this before, there is always a first time for everything. Do that now. 10. See a good movie. Movies are a great way to relax. Make a date with yourself at least once a month for releasing stress. You can go to the movies and watch a new box office release. There are usually very good ones, so you don't have to worry about whether they are good or not. I acknowledge some will make you cry. But there are also hilarious ones that involve characters doing all manner of hilarious things that will drive the audience crazy. Again, don't procrastinate. The journey towards freedom from all forms of stress is a long one. Take baby steps on movie one month at a time. You will be alright. 11. Indulge in a massage. You can declare spa day every weekend or every two weeks. Your body needs rest, and sometimes sleeping alone won't give you this. When you get a good body massage from a reputable establishment, they can make you feel like a baby. Who doesn't want to be pampered? You could even use a jacuzzi and have the water suit you. Some of those things can cost a small fortune, but they are usually worth it. 12. Eat healthy. Don't eat whatever you want. That's not a good plan if you're going to stay healthy. Part of self-care requires eating a balanced diet. You can snack on apples, for example, instead of snacking on Pringles. Also, get a nutritionist professional advice if you have any special dietary needs. But whatever you do, eat something. So many people lose their appetites and just go on working. A big appetite is necessary for the type of energy you need to perform optimally. If you are exercising too, you need to eat even more than usual. It is a good day to eat some salad. Be good. 13. Smile Finally, smile. Everyone wants something. The things people want are inexhaustible. Why worry? If you don't worry, it won't come. So, why worry? Choose the things that really matter to you and focus on them. But whatever you do, keep smiling. Smiling will ensure that you are always cheerful, no matter what is going on. You are responsible for your health care, dear. Don't let people push you around and make you unhappy. You deserve to be happy, successful, and at peace. The people who have it are not better than you. You can have everything you want. Yes, you can have it all. Take a deep breath. The fact that you are watching this video means that you are working hard already at being a better you. You have everything it takes to succeed already. Just keep smiling, keep being cheerful, and everything will gradually fall into place. In case you didn't know, smiling actually makes people feel happy. When you are sad, smile. When you are in shock, laugh. This confusing experience can trick your body into responding positively no matter the situation. Remember, you are a champion. Never forget.